Yo, what's up? I want to talk to you about how to stop fearing the stutter. How to stop fearing your stutter because I think deep down inside, you know that that is causing you so much pain. That is causing you to be in your head 24 seven, thinking of ways to exchange your words, thinking of different ways to start the sentence, thinking of anticipatory everything. You're anticipating everything, every conversation you may have, the talk with the boss, you talk to your friend. You're just in your head, living in your head. And I think you know the fear of the stuttering is playing a fucking massive role to this. So I want to show you how I work with my clients to reduce this fear of stuttering. One of the ways, okay? There's a couple different ways we do this. Let me share one of the ways right now. Before I hop in, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chase Gillis, and I help people overcome stuttering the same way I did. The same way I did, not with speech techniques, not with ear devices, but by addressing the real root issue of why we are stuttering in the first place. Okay, so without further ado, oh, if that interests you, you don't wanna learn a speech technique, click the close link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. And we'll, we'll just talk, we'll chat about your situation and see what would be the best fit for you. So without further ado, let's hop into the fear of stuttering. I first wanna kinda of tell you what people think they have to do in order to address this fear of stuttering. They feel like they have to stutter and 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 stutter until they have completely desensitized themselves to the feeling of stuttering, stuttering. You get what I'm saying. Most people feel in order to address the fear of stuttering, they must stutter, 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 stutter. That can work. But I feel that's hard. I feel that's extremely hard. Because that's the last thing we want to do, right? I feel like in my process, I have been able to stutter head on to the stutter bits at a time. Bits at a time when I was feeling good, when I was at a high motivation. But it would go high and low and then I'd stop for months and then try again and I'd stop for months and I'd get down on myself that I'm, that I'm a lazy piece of shit and I can never stick to. Like, it's hard, all right? For the first thing to understand, it's hard to just stutter, stutter, stutter and eventually desensitize yourself to the stutter. With that being said, it's possible. But that's not the way I did it and that's not the only way. It's one of the ways, but Definitely, definitely, it's not going to be enough to bring you across a line unless you just have the, the most discipline and the most mental grit ever to go through these interactions. What is much more plausible, what is much more achievable, and what is much more beneficial to you is if you understand the why you fear the stuttering in the first place. Asking yourself and digging in deep with the awareness of why you're fearing the stutter in the first place. There is certain fears you have a, attached to the fear of stuttering that you feel once you stutter or you don't want to stutter because you'll feel this way and it will mean you're this, this type of person and it'll mean you only deserve this amount what are these fears that the stuttering is bringing out to you? Now, I can't tell you all of mine that I work through because it would cloud your perception of what your fears are. But I know one fear that is common among every person who stutters. Every person who stutters and it's foundational. And it's the fear of being judged. It's not the fear of stuttering. 
Because you can stutter by yourself and feel no fear, feel no anxiety. But it's when you stutter in front of people you value. It's the fear of being judged is the biggest and biggest fear. And then there's also many, many things we can go attached to, attach to that of where your traumas go. Like when, if you're judged, does that mean you're unlovable? There's like so many different fears we can address to that, that we find out with our clients, with my clients, and we work on together to overcome these fears. That's much more healthy because once we address the fear of being judged, and once we address all the fears attached to that, maybe the fear of being rejected and what that means to you, it's different for everybody, but finding out what is scaring you about stuttering that is perpetuating this fear. And not it's not just the fear of stuttering, it goes much, much, much deeper. And once you truly work on the fear of being judged, the fear of being rejected, the fear of not being lovable, whatever these fears may be that the, stu that the stuttering exposes to you, once you address all of these and you heal all these parts inside of you, guess what? There is no fear to stutter. The fear to stutter will only stay there as long as your fear to be judged is still there. As long as you fear to be rejected. As long as you still think that your stuttering makes you unlovable. And like I said, I just named you three. I don't, I don't want to cloud your brain because I guarantee you, you have different ones. You may have all three are the same, but you also have different ones. Don't cut it off there. Don't say that's it. There's so much more deeper shit. I had a client one time who was feeling resistance to overcome his stutter because he then thought, okay, this is deep. I wasn't planning to talk about this, but he then thought that if he did overcome his stutter, and if he did speak fluently and he was free, what excuse would he have now to not be living the life he wants to live? And that was playing in his mind through the awareness that we gained and starting to resolve that. Because if that was still there, if there was that constant resistance to overcome stuttering because then he'll be exposed to his real shortcomings, his real shortcomings, his real flaws, his real inadequacies, as he said, then he wouldn't want to overcome his stutter. Then he'd be constantly sabotaging himself along this journey. So realizing what is stopping this and what fears are stopping you from overcoming this fear of stuttering and just overcoming your stutter in general is absolutely massive. So that's what I wanna tell you. I wanna tell you, you don't just have to overcome stuttering by stuttering and stuttering and stuttering and stuttering and desensitizing yourself to that stutter but seeing what fears are connected to the stutter. The fear of being judged, for example, again, that, that is much deeper rooted than the fear of stuttering. And once you heal that, you heal the fear of stuttering. And why this is so much more holistic way of looking at it is because if you heal the feel here, heal the fear, say that three times fast, heal the fear of being judged, you unlock everything else in your life that you are stopping yourself from doing because you're afraid to get judged. And this is the holistic way to look at it because really how I work with people is we don't overcome the stutter. We, we don't address the stutter. We address the real internal shit going on that is keeping the stutter upheld and fluency on this pedestal that you think everything will be rainbows once you're there. No, you fucking won't. No, I fucking won't because you haven't addressed the real root issues in the first place. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, drop a comment, but I think it did. And if it did make sense, also drop a comment. I want sense, sensory comments. I want unsensory comments. That's not even the right words to use in the comments to let me know if that made sense to you. And with that being said, if that resonated with you and you're like, yo, you know what? I want to address the real root issues, not just the stutter itself, but the internal dialogue what's going on, my fears, my traumas. I want to address that, release those, 
so that there is no fear to stutter and so I can express myself freely and expressively regardless of the interaction, regardless of the environment. If that sounds good to you, then again, this is what I do. This is my living. I help people do that just like you. Just like you, the same way I overcame my stutter. If this sounds good to you, click the closest link down below in the description. Book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me. We will have some time set aside to just chat and see what's going on in your life. What, where are you stuck? Where do you need help? And seeing if it would make sense to work together. And with that being said, I hope this was fucking mind-blowing because I love you. And I'll see you in the next video.